have overhead at the moment. Alabama won the toss and deferred, so Florida will receive the opening kickoff with Bo Carroll, one of the speediest men in the country, back deep. He's an eight-time track All-American on the Florida track and field team. And Lane Bearden will kick off. The freshman who's done a good job driving kickoffs deep this season. underway. A high, relatively short kick coming down to Bo Carroll at the 7. Right up the hash marks and down at the 25-yard line. Week's game against Arkansas. Kirk Wells, the tight end, shifted in closer to the line. And the run is stopped. Salim Rashid. And the Alabama coaches say will be regarded as one of the all Just underway. On a warm afternoon in North Central Florida. Out of the shotgun. Zow goes very deep and too long for Freddie Millens. The hand signals to the wide out to the left. The fullback is Rod Frazier was offset. The pass to Robert Gillespie. Fumble. Recovered by Marcus Spencer. And he's down to the 38-yard line. Salim Rashid knocked it out. Marcus Spencer recovered and returned at 13 yards. Florida now might have penalty problems all season. Alabama's turned it over 10 times in the last two weeks, six times in the win last week against Arkansas. Alexander with some nice moves. And a gain to the 32-yard line. He picked up six before Marquan Manns in the game. John Draper and Terry Jones, Jr. Zow after the fake has to throw. Caught for a first down at the 25-yard line by Freddie Millens. Third down and seven. Play clock at two as Zow took the snap out of the gun. And that pass is complete but short of a first down to Freddie Millens. Marquand Manuel right there. He did that time, but it was just short of the first down. 37-yard field goal try from Chris Kemp is good. The junior Florida native from Jacksonville gives Alabama be considered interchangeable parts by Coach Spurrier. Gillespie just fumbled, so Carroll's in there. Johnson going deep for Darrell Jackson. He's going to go all the way for a Florida touchdown. 73 yards. Jackson's fifth touchdown reception of the year and the extra point good from Jeff Chan first down for Alabama and it's on 41. Zao with lots of time against the four-man rush. Alexander with lots of running room at the 30 of Florida and all the way to the 20-yard line. 39 yards. Betty Alexander no relation to Sean. Second down, Zao under pressure, got it off. For a game to the 15-yard line for Jason McCadley. Keith Kelsey made the tap. They go to the four wide receiver set. Actually, five receivers spread across the field for Andrew Zao. He throws, caught Freddie Millens, taken down at the one-yard line by Marquand Manuel. Deep handoff, touchdown. Sean Alexander on the fourth try from the one-yard line. They did extra point. He's the backup picker. who's still without Ryan Fluehner, who did make the trip and might try a very long field goal. It was in a game. Carroll picked up the first down with his carry out to the 30. And they give it to Carroll again. Good cut inside. He can fly. Touchdown saving tackle by Tony Dixon at the 32-yard line of Alabama. Keen, his longest run of the season. Four wide receivers. Out of the shotgun. Another bobble snap by Johnson. A quick throw to Caldwell. He has running room. He's also very fast. And he's close to a first down. Appears to have it at the 21-yard line. Tony get it, but that is the goal. Johnson's done a lot better just about every facet of the game, particularly in the decision-making this year. After the summer spent on campus, he throws that one away and a flag down for an intentional ground. And it'll be a long try, 41 yards for Chandler, who's perfect on the year in field goals until now. Never really did get it airborne. Low-line drive, wide to the right. Tafoya, delighted to have you with us. 
Now with a flag down. Steps up and throws. First down at the play stands. Antonio Carter tackled by Daryl Dixon. That's us the connection. They spread the field and Zao goes out of the shotgun. Just the four-man rush and a throw on target. Alexander lost his helmet but held on to the ball for a first. I mean, nobody liked going in there to play. That was a very, very hard place to play. And out of the gun, they spread the field with receivers. Zao, high throw, but a good catch, and McCadley has a first down. Jason down to the 26 dubs, calling plays with confidence, mm -hmm. too. Mikey Bo said, I hired Charlie to open up the offense. He didn't really do that the first couple of weeks. He was trying too hard to make everybody happy. Alexander's making him happy as he powers toward another first down inside the five-yard line. Gerard Ward in on the tackle after Mark Juan Manuel. Touchdown. 17th play of the drive. More than eight and a half minutes long. Alexander throws a block. Zao scrambling, throws right through the hands of the tight end, Terry Jones Jr. There's a flag down in the backfield. Illegal shift. Two men were moving by the offense. Penalty is refused. Chris Kemp from an awkward angle. A 22-yard field goal is good. What a drive by Alabama. The only negative was that it did not end at a touchdown. Yeah. And the half ends. Very impressive first half by Alabama. But just a six-point lead for the time. Here's Michelle with Steve Spurrier. Nation on first and ten from their own 20-yard line. Andrews out. With Brown picked up well again, finds Sam Collins, the true freshman, with his first catch of the day. And the team is leading by six with nine minutes to play in the third quarter. On the gun on second and five. Zao pass intercepted. Benny Alexander's going to score on the first crucial mistake by Alabama. Andrew Zao has made. And the lead again for Florida. As Jeff on first and ten, they go to the ground for Alexander. Trying to break free. And he has the first down. Not a bad. First today. Zao on third down and long now. They need to get just across midfield. They do. What a throw by Zao to Antonio Carter for the first down. He beat the true freshman Daryl Dixon with coverage. 21 yards, 19, and they picked it up with a 21-yard game. Zao 18 out of 26. Pump fake, avoids the rush, throws deep for Alexander, wide open, touchdown Alabama! <laughs> but a touchdown and extra point can only tie him, of course if you don't get it, two field goals could beat you. And the throw is low, incomplete. It bounced into Jason McCadley. He's arguing that even from up here, it looked like the ball bounced inside against Alabama. One score by the Florida offense. The other an interception return. Here's the tight end, Aaron Kenny. Wasn't played much the last couple of weeks with a neck injury in there now. Just his third. Ball spotted at the 39, first and 10. Johnson throws. Nice catch along the far sideline by Alex Willis. Carroll running behind the left side of the line into the secondary in the Bama territory with a first down at the 37-yard line where Darius Gilbert made this. First and 27 now. The ball back at the 36-yard line. Man open. Willis down the sideline. Close to the first down at the 9-yard line. Alex Willis. And got the big throw. First and goal from just inside the 9. Johnson to the end zone. Touchdown, Daryl Jackson. That gives them a one-point lead. And now if you're Steve Spurry to go for two, try to make it a three-point lead. Three catches, 93 yards, two touchdowns for Jackson. Now the try for two and a three-point lead. Wells the tight end. Lost the ball, but he was in first. That's a two-point conversion for Florida. And a three-point lead, 22 to 19. That was a little bit worse.
first and ten Alabama. Zao after the fake had to get rid of it quickly. Antonio Carter, good move. He's across midfield with another first down. Four man rush. Zao with time as a man wide open. Millen's first down. Inside the 15 yard line. Marquand Manuel. Florida. Florida leads by three. Sean Bohannon in the game and he's split out. Alexander's gone to the sideline. Zao, and again just a four man rush. Throws to the end zone. Caught! Touchdown! Antonio Carter puts Bama back up. John, I'm really surprised they didn't go after him again. They just rushed four, and this offensive line for Alabama, two guy along with Freddie Millens, two very young, talented players. And the extra point good from Kemp. And Alabama leads by four. Twelve and a half minutes remaining in Gainesville. Bo Carroll, the back behind Doug Johnson. Johnson throws to Jackson, caught for a first down. To the 40-yard line, Tony Dixon. Under 12 minutes remaining. Johnson with all day to throw. Throws a strike, caught for another first down. In Alabama territory at the Johnson's main guy. Out of the shotgun, Johnson throwing up his back foot. Another catch made by Alex Willis. First down, Gators at the 22. Herschel Bolden and by Darius Gilbert from the 25. Third down and 12. Johnson throws short. And they're going to spot the ball down back at the 21-yard line. In either event, it was going to be well short of the first of the season earlier today. And that one's built from 37 yards out. It's a one-point lead for Alabama with 9.42. Out of the gun. Millens. First down, big gainer out to the 42-yard line where Eugene McCaslin made the tackle. Both players on that. You remember, Millens used to be the quarterback. He wants to throw this one away. The Florida sideline complaining that that was two forward passes. And they... yeah. Snapper late coming onto the field. Bradley Ledbetter. The clock down to one. A problem along the line of scrimmage, and the Gators are going to take over at the 25-yard line. There's a flag on the play. A flag thrown along the line of scrimmage. Ledbetter late running onto the field. It was a bad snap that struck Marvin Brown. The senior on the offense. There's the second potentially ball game. Second down and nine. Johnson with lots of time to the end zone. Caught. Daryl Jackson with his third touchdown of the game. And a terrific catch on a ball thrown behind him. And Florida leads again. Now they pitch it to Bo Carroll. Virtually untouched, he gets the two points, and the lead is seven for the Gators with 5.15 left. Great job by Doug. With the spread set. Four-man rush. Bullard couldn't pull him down. He's in trouble from behind. He throws. Caught by Millens to the 47-yard line. Over the floor. It took a long time to get that play in from the sideline. The play clock at two as they snap it. Zao in traffic throws short of Carter to be fourth and ten. Zao knocked down after he threw it. Possible fake with this field position and the situation of the game. Darren Jackson back to the punt. Morgan Rule punted away. High but short. Jackson left it. It's free at the 22-yard line. The infamous scrum. There's a whole lot of fighting going on down in the bottom of the pile right now. The Alabama players think they have it. No signal from the officials. 
Now it is Alabama's ball at the 22-yard line. Snap. Which he didn't have a moment ago. They snap it with three. It's an inside handoff. Alexander knocked down, and this will be a crucial spot. It looks like they're going to spot him down short. And, and run behind number 60. They give it to Alexander. First down. And he goes in for the touchdown. Touchdown. 27 seconds left. High game. This time they bring pressure. It's a blitz. And Johnson's down in the arms of Chris Horn. For the first time, they come after Doug Johnson. A Sean McDonough, Todd Blackledge, Michelle Tafoya back at the swamp, suddenly very silent. Over the years, not only has Florida won virtually every home game under Spurrier, but they've won by an average of 27 right. points. So these fans are not used to even seeing close games. Very quiet on the first snap. Gillespie following the pullback. Rob Roberts for just a yard to the 24. Would love to hold to a field goal try. Third down and four. Out of the gun. Johnson with a lot of time to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, Rache Caldwell. To the football. And a good throw by Johnson. And the extra point is missed. Jeff Chandler, so solid. Since taking over last year as the starting kicker, missed it wide to the right. So Alabama could win the game. Alabama begins its first try of the overtime on offense. Alexander running behind the fullback. The play time. He may go. Touchdown. again with that carry 106 and now they can win it weeks ago but Kemp's been very steady the last couple of games his kick is no good flag down on the play Florida was offside Sean they're going to get a chance to kick it again it was offside on Florida offside defense Pipes look right now. That kick is good, and Alabama wins. <laughs> the longest active home winning streak in college football is over. Florida's home winning streak ended at 30 in a row. Sean Alexander stymied so often today, but as you said, Todd, when they needed a big play from him, he made them over and over again. And so much of life is about... Steve Spurrier leaves this field as a losing head coach for just the third time in 10 years. Alabama wins it in overtime. The final score of the Tide 40, the Gators 39. For Michelle Defoy and Todd Blacklett, Sean McDonough saying so long from Gainesville.